today's, Hi guys. Hello. Today's Thursday and we're starting our weekend vlog early because this weekend here in Spain it's a bank holiday tomorrow which is Friday and it's a bank holiday on Monday and it's our weekend off so we've got four days off work. Yay. Yay. The weather's not looking too great. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. We did want to go to the hot springs at Fortuna but I've looked online and they've got no space available but they've got limited capacity because of coronavirus so I don't think we'll be going there. I had a look, <coughs> had a look at the submarine. Oh. That's closed, so we'll not be doing that. I've got to finish clearing the garage out because the guys, I think, are going to start uh, going to come and start work on it um, on Monday or Tuesday. So that needs doing. So it might be a bit boring, but we'll see. So what do the bits do on a bank holiday? Barbecue. But while we're here, if you look behind me, you'll see the Christmas shops open. It's the only one for miles. We've got people we know of that come down from Benidorm purely to buy the Christmas tat. Cheska's decided that we're going to go to the Chinese that's in San Luis called Asia, Asia Garden. Garden. We haven't been for a long time, not for any particular reason. Just because it's further away, really. And not only that, it's about four doors up from Preet's from Star of India, so we're more likely yeah. to get pulled into there than Obviously anywhere else. I walk past, smell the Indian and do Turn around the dill detour. So we're still on the uh, keto diet, which means no rice, no pasta, no noodles, no bread, no, no carbs. Rolls. And we've That's said, really. basically, oh. if it's Cheska's paying for it. I ain't got no money. What a surprise. Check the sunset over the lake. The menu looks quite interesting. We're in Asia Gardens, which is in San Luis, close to Torrevieja. I've not been here for years actually and this only about four years i've been yeah. here with your dad but this used to be years i'm talking when maddie was a baby this used to be the chinese restaurant to come to because there were no others to come to our problem is we always go to places that are really local so we can just walk home but we're actually, lazy this walk has not been too bad walking here no we called him at ken's bar which i'll show you the footage which helen and helen and the family's known for donkeys yes. years since she got it i think yeah really. really and we'll walk back again i put comfy shoes on that's all that matters yeah. We've not ordered rice or chips or noodles or we've not had any so pancake boring. rolls so and we've boring. not had any um, nothing, corn crackers or anything no, like that. But we've ordered a starter each and yeah. we've ordered a main course each. We'll, we'll see, see what it's, what it's like. like. Yeah, and we've got a bottle of wine. Which yeah. can't, can't go wrong. Come to the veggie. I don't get the little bit of toast. But the mushrooms, that there's garlic, definitely garlic. And the mushrooms are really tasty, really nice. These are... I don't know what ribs they're called. I think they're special ribs, aren't they? So the, the special ribs, yeah. We've not tried them yet. Actually, he's going to prove me wrong now, but... Andy's eaten the rest of his ribs with his knife and fork. I did. So the ribs... are really tender, the meat's falling off the bone. They're very strong of cinnamon, not Chinese five spice, but cinnamon. But I quite like cinnamon, so that's not a problem. What have we got, Ellen? Well, the first one that's come out is grilled three meats, which has got a few vegetables, which we can have. Chicken, beef and duck, all in a sizzling sauce. We've got garlic prawns as well, which we have to wait there a minute. They've got really big. So they've got big garlic in it. Yeah, but it's too hot, you can't get them. And again, it's a sizzling pot. Actually, the food tonight were really nice. Really tasty. Oh no. So that means Francesca's not paying. Uh, that's no good. So she's really happy about that. We'd have a bit of a mooch back up towards Helen's, which is another 10 kilometres. We might even call into another bar for another drink. But if we look really drunk on this post, we're going to cut it out. Cut. Hi, guys. Morning. What, while I remember, if you watched last week's vlog, you remember in the Chinese, I was laughing a little bit about Maddie wanting a robot, basically, for Christmas from Francesca. Which is about 150 euros. No, expects, it's more than that. Is it more than that? No. She expects Francesca, who's 15 and at so, school, to buy it for her. So anyway, 
during the week I shot into the Chinese with the tokens which I mentioned you get one for every 12 euros and uh, picked one of these robots up not the robot that she wants no so you can see the footage around about now That means Francesca don't need to buy you a Christmas present now. Tampons <laughs> and socks. Hi guys. Morning again. Yeah. Today is Bank Holiday Friday. Yay! Yay! But not Good Friday. No, it's Although, not. Although with this weather, it is beautiful Friday. Yeah. It's absolutely red hot. So we're going to clear the garage out completely. Yay! And it might even be warm enough for the pool. What do you think? We're just walking to a local little Spanish bar and have a few keto-friendly tapas. tapas for lunch. Yeah. Why don't you come along and join us? We said the Spit and Sawdust place are typically the best ones to go into. So this one it's doesn't... Very, it's very spit and very sawdust. Yeah, and very Spanish. Yeah. But actually, yeah, a lot of people here different nationalities. So... The tapas are usually really good and they do a nice paella and things as well. And a menu del dia. Yeah, for about nine euros, I think, for three courses. Yeah. Instagram. Hola. Hola. <laughs> so we ordered the magra, which is pork in a tomato sauce. The crab stick salad, which is in mayonnaise with a bit of um, lettuce and salad. And the liver, which has got some big chunks of garlic in it. With a nice coffee. And Andy's just doing an Instagram post. Hey. Look at the size of them chunks of garlic that's in this liver. It's like deja vu from last night, the Chinese. Yeah, this is a lot bigger, Andy's going to love that. And actually, the crab stick salad's got some nice big chunky prawns in it as well. So the tapas were great, really, really tasty. The liver was our favourite. It was really delicious. Now this place, sometimes we come for <coughs> breakfast because they do a really good tortilla. Uh, no, they don't do a tortilla. Well, they do do a tortilla, which is really good, but they do a really good tostada with tomato. You'll have seen that in some of our earlier vlogs where we have that for breakfast. Um, and here you can have it with some nice manchego cheese on it or some serrano ham as well. Really, really good. The coffees are great. This is the place that we get our takeaway coffees from when we're at work in the office because the office is only just across the road. This was my mum's favourite place to come for a coffee as well. When she came when she came to visit, she couldn't wait to get here for a coffee. That's one brandy. of the Yeah, coffee and a brandy, that's one of that one together, one, one of the treats. No, she did used to like a coffee and a brandy together. No, she didn't put them together. She always had them separate, but that, that was one of my mum's treats when she came to visit, coming here to the quick for a coffee and a brandy. Just under 18 euros. Well, I'm just saying, you know, if we go to places like My Tackle or Lizaran, it's all processed and it's all, it's all right. Whereas it's nice, that, but that's proper. You can tell yeah. the difference between, like, the the mass-produced food in places like My Tackle and the and the food in a place like the Quick because it is, like Andy just said, all homemade. Francesca is not very happy. Tell them what's just happened to you. I was getting books. Cucaracha. I was getting the books out of the thing there. I got a book out and I've got crypt just climbed on my hand and I just like flicked it down and I have no idea where it's gone. How nice. Wildlife. I think I've just scared him to death, bless him. So here will be the kitchen. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, that's what it's gonna look like. So the kitchen. Here here will be the living room which is there and then as we walk out here starting where that line is that will be the bedroom going out to that line there and then there'll be a door about here going into this bathroom so it should be nice Do it's you oh but I've just got to show you. Last time I did a vlog and I said I've got a guy yeah, yeah, coming yeah. to chop down the, yeah. the fig bush that's what it looks like now. It actually looks like a tree. Look, look at all the all the figs on it. We're going to pick some now, even though we're not meant to have them on our diet. And that bush is completely gone. So I'm going to get well, while they're doing the foundations, they're going to put me a, a concrete bit there so I can put a shed on it. And then all the stuff that I've taken upstairs into the bedroom, I can bring back downstairs again and put it into the shed.
Today is not Saturday, today no, is today, Friday. Today feels like Saturday, but it's not. So what are you making? So I'm making chicken skewers to put on the barbecue. And it's a bit of a cheap one, really. All it is, is I've done chicken thighs. I prefer thighs than chicken breast because it stays moist. And I've marinated it in Patak's madras paste with some um, yogurt and mint sauce mixed in with it. And that's it. But it should be tasty. Oh, and a little bit of oil just to keep it moist. There's a word that you either love or hate. Moist. Well, when it comes to food, you've got to love it, haven't you? I think I've bought too much chicken. <clears throat> Maybe you could do it into a curry. What's left? I suppose I'll have a look, see what's not on the skewers when I've done them. How spicy? Well, it's my dress spicy. I smell really good. I have got burgers and sausages to cook as well, but I didn't realise how big those kebabs were going to be, so I think it might just be kebab and kebab tonight. Yeah, because the other kebabs, the other kebabs are here. So you remember I mentioned Reeves sausages, uh, Reeves, the butchers, the English butchers, which now has been in a couple of vlogs. It was all when we went to France, the butcher from Reeves was in there and we didn't spot him. Um, but these are from Reeves. They're like a crafty kebab. Yeah. Oh, they smell great. I've had them before. They're, they're really tasty. The kids have had them. Helen Helen. Um, and they're about two euros, ten each or something daft. And they're well worth it. Maddie's finished a burger. Wanan's finished his burger. They're watching crap on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, not watching us on YouTube. Yeah. Andy's still there eating a burger. I couldn't manage a burger. I had the kebabs and that were me. In fact, I didn't even finish them. Francesca's got... The coffees. The coffees were lovely. Francesca's got some for her dinner tomorrow. That's my bedroom through there. But here is Francesca. Hi. Hi. Good morning. It's Saturday morning now. I'm going to look at some tiles and see if I can get some samples ready for um, buying them for the little extension that we're doing so I'm gonna go there first then we're gonna go to the boulevard and look in Leroy Merlin at bathroom suites and then we're gonna cook some maybe some cook some fish for tea tonight so it looks like it's gonna rain but then again could be worse we could be in the UK <laughs> Ow, I just fell down a what's that step I fell down a step right. so these you've got loads and loads of choice on tiles and things and the prices that is per square meter so tiles here are a lot lot cheaper than they are in the UK Eight euros a square meter. Lots of nice choices. So this is Leroy Merlin's, and they've got all sorts of things for sale here. You can get all sorts of um, soft furnishings. That's pretty expensive for a mirror. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm here to look at sinks and toilets. We've ended up in my tapper, as usual, for a spot of lunch. Really, really, mega busy. Here. Let's go. Very unsuccessful in my tapper. We didn't end up with anything. Yeah, yeah. lukewarm coffee, yeah. and, and, and that took them about 15 minutes. Yeah, so and we just thought, sod it, sod off. They didn't bring any food round, so looks like we're lunchless today. <laughs> Good for diet. So, cooking at home Saturday night, typical. Yeah. Helen's prepped some mussels, so we're having the mussels in the kind of like a Thai sauce. Yeah, so. coconut milk with a bit of lime and coriander and garlic and ginger. And parsley. And a bit of wine. And a bit of wine. White wine. Oh, we're having cod for our main course. Yeah, so um, that's Jessica what I was going to say. Francesca doesn't want that, so she's having burger. So I'm doing a special burger for Cheska. The cod that we've got, we're, Helen's going to try and replicate the dish that we had in La Cueva... Aragonesa? Like Cava Aragonesa. Cava. In Benidorm. So I'll link the video for that here. So basically it's going to be aubergine, the aubergine cod. The aubergine are already in the oven roasting so that they're yeah. nice and soft. Cod and alioli. Yeah. Had a bit of cheese. Helen's got the... Um, You're in my light though so I can't see what I'm doing. Bigger than what we thought bread uh, cod. And she's trying to debone it, get the bones out. Yeah. Get the skin off it and get the bones out. I'm not being very successful though, they don't want to come out. We love coriander, we love garlic. This smells 
Ace. Smell of vision. Yeah, it's a shame we can't do smell of vision. This is parsley that I'm putting in now, though. That bunch of parsley from Carrefour was 55 cents. I'll have to let you know what it's like. Yeah. Saturday night, we've eaten and we're watching Big on the Disney Plus channel. Yes, Disney Plus. Oh, by the way, I'm just replying to Scott Finley. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Hi, Scott. It's Sunday. I don't think it's Sunday morning. No, it's definitely not Sunday morning. I've just been sat editing um, the video for Frank's which is making me really hungry. Uh, Helen's currently getting ready. We're gonna jump in the uh, the van, the tractor, the high ace, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and we're gonna head down to mine with the rest of the stuff. So crap out of her garage. I'm gonna drop that off down at mine, pick the Audi up. And then I think we're gonna head to Cabo de Palos. Not decided yet. Sun's started to come out, um, but we'll take you with you. Take you with, blah, blah, blah. blah. But we'll take you with us. And we're back down at his house there with the old work van full of absolute crap out of my garage. I would have binned it all, but Andy's a massive hoarder. So we're now we're going out in Andy's pride and joy. <laughs> it's his old man mobile. Yeah, whatever, Trevor. Which Maya is not going to enjoy. I'm going to have a bird's nest by the time we get there. So we're just coming into a little Spanish town called Cabo de Palos which is on the coast down in the Costa Calida and it's at the very very start of La Manga of the La Manga Strip which is famous because that's where all your footballers go on holiday um, Cabo de Palace is a lovely little it's a pretty little seaside town it's got lots of nice seafood restaurants so hopefully it'll not be too busy because we are on a bank holiday weekend and we can find somewhere nice to eat it really is pretty we're going to go onto the seafront because it's prettier there than it is here actually but it's got a lovely harbour and it's a great place for scuba diving and snorkeling they've got a scuba club and everything and you see boat flows i'll just spin around so you can see And we're going to be going over that way for food. I think we might actually struggle today. Everywhere's fully booked and reserved. So not only did we not get to eat yesterday, we're probably not <laughs> going to get to eat today. Oh, well, at least Good it makes it a cheap diet. weekend. tomatoes with olives and garlic and here's our plate of serrano ham and manchego cheese my lubina which is sea bass which looks really nice and andy's uh, turbot Ooh, it's got clams as well. Garlic butter with prawn and clams, that looks really nice too. So I'm thinking we've broken the diet a little bit with that meal because tomatoes are not the lowest thing in carbs and we ate a plate full of tomatoes. We've had a few chips, so what the hell, we've ordered a dessert between us as well. It's tartar de abuela, I've not had it for ages and I love it, so we'll show you that in a minute. Mm -hmm. Scrub that, he's just come and told me that they've got none left so we're not having any. Never mind, better for the diet. No dessert. So we've had to settle for a nice coffee instead. How gorgeous is this? We've just left Cabo de Palace and this is the beginning of La Manga Strip. It's like a dual carriageway that goes all the way down to the bottom. Um, and that's it really you've got the yeah you've got the mediterranean sea on one side and you've got the marmino sea on the other side which we'll try and show you that so this is the marmino and you can get a ferry from san pedro across here 
to La Manga. That side, you can just see it there, is the Mediterranean. Lamanga strips actually 21 kilometers long but the road only goes to sort of kilometer 18 just 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 a little bit over kilometer 18 really and it's around about 100 meters wide so 21 kilometers long about 100 meters wide and it's just a strip of land that goes sort of goes out so it forms the the natural lagoon which is the Marmano which is always really really calm and then, like I said, the, on the other side, you've got the Mediterranean. So we're heading back down the La Manga Strip, back towards the mainland, shall we say. Behind us, you'll see some of La Manga. Behind me, which is that way, over the Bar Minor, in the distance, I don't know if it's picked it up, because the sun's glaring in the wrong place, but it looks a bit, you can't even see me, I think, is Los Arcatuis. And San Pedro. And, and Santiago de la Ribera. And, and Lopagan and lots of other places and it stinks around here with really rotten does, eggs it really does smell it's yeah, very it's smelly proper. unless my uh, catalytic converter completely knackered but the engine's hot and it's been running for the last hour so yeah it does it does pong a bit hi guys and today is monday the 12th of october so it's a fiesta day today happy bank holiday yeah as we mentioned in last week's week before's vlog when we did uh, Yellow Brick Road, uh, we're now going the opposite direction. Yeah, we're going to walk into Torre Vieja. Quite a few cats around here, but we've just seen a sign. It basically says they're uh, looked after, maintained, fed. And everything else by an association, which the, is good. The, the one that I've just seen walking past have got the tip of its ear missing, which is a marker here in Spain that it's been neutered as well, so they'll have all been caught and neutered. and it's empty there's nobody here who's going to go and visit Maddie because it's her day to work today unlucky sorry Mads working on a bank holiday it's not busy in here at all bye bye I'm being naughty my mask's off we're in the middle of the scrubland middle of nowhere I've got mine under my chin which is really warm walking with these masks on there and I think we've done about 11 kilometres, so... Oh, we will have the time we've finished. Yeah. Which is a bit nuts, because typically when we're in Disney, we can average 20 kilometres, but I don't feel as knackered as I do now. Big difference, yeah. though, when you're running from one ride to another. I was going to say, and in Disney... Or it's one a, food shop, one, it might one food be place 20 to 20 kilometres over the whole day. Yeah. So you're stopping, starting, stopping, starting. We've just been walking. Apart Long from four. that stop for a... Three coffee. hours? With a yeah. stop? Possibly. I'm knackered. Yeah, I need a shave. We've done a really long walk. We did just over ten and a half kilometres. We did stop halfway for a coffee though, so it's not too bad. And you've got to get these steps in. We've got to get fit for Disney next year. So that's. So 
Så nej. I feel bad to live in it. Never know what we're <laughs> going to say when we do this. No. You probably gathered. Random. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, really the end of our long weekend vlog. The end of our long weekend vlog. Uh, we've, uh, yeah. we've done quite a lot, I suppose, really. Yeah. So we'll probably split out into separate vids. Um, like the restaurant yesterday. Possibly. Depending on the length. Too yeah. long. Um, so that's it really. All we're going to do now is I think Andy might do a bit of editing. I might just watch a bit of TV. We've got a curry in the oven for tea. It's been cooking since yesterday more or less. Yeah, I can't, what do you mean more or less? It has been cooking since well, yesterday. Well no, it weren't cooking overnight as well. No, I cooked it for about three or four hours last night and then it's been on again since 12 o'clock lunchtime today and it's now um, half past four. So it's been cooking for four and a half hours now and we'll not be having it for another couple of hours so it's well cooked. Yeah, so I'm going to do a bit of editing and then I'm going to watch some of you. And I will watch Emmerdale and Coronation Street because it's Monday. Hope you've had a good one. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments, by the way, on the different videos and everything else. Yeah, we've else. had some lovely comments and a couple of not so lovely <laughs> comments. But there you go. Can't please everyone, can uh, you? Oh dear, no. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed um, this weekend vlog, give us a thumbs up. If yeah. not, give us a thumbs down. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Ring that bell. And we'll see you again soon. Yeah. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto.